Okay. It's Shabbat Eve. The, it's not evening yet. It's not Lila yet. Haven't lit the candles. They got a while to go. But it's Friday. I just finished cleaning everything up in the house. Cleaning outside where the dogs are. Cleaning their rooms out. Getting that room ready for when she has her pups. She's going to get pregnant by Barack. No, Barack. That was my old dog a long time ago. He sired a litter. He was a boxer. Anyway, I've got this prayer book here. And uh, I'm going to put on tefillin. And, and uh, I'm, first I'm going to put on a seat seat. Then I'm going to put on the tefillin. And I want to talk to you about this prayer book here. It's a pretty good prayer book. There's one thing about it. and I have In the new prayer books, I haven't seen it coming out. But if you go to, let's see, this is... Seder A Time, the Complete Art Scroll Seder, and let's see here, if you go to Shabbat, there's, where's Shabbat at here? Uh, Shabbat, the end of Shabbat, okay. Rabono, this is called Rabon Haolam. After you finish with uh, Malka, Malav, Malava Malka, after you finish with that on Shabbat, you can say this if it's in your prayer books, but I haven't been finding it in any of my prayer books. The only one I found it in that I've I've got a lot of different prayer books too is this Saturday time out of Art Scroll in New York, and uh, let's see if I can look more here. It's uh, it's Saturday time Rabbi Heim Wolf and Miss Helen Wolf, and uh, dedicated with everlasting and loving appreciation by their devoted sons, Nosen, Aaron, Hirsch, and Saul. But anyway, this this is. It's a good prayer book, and I, this this Rabon Haolam. If you've if you've read it, you know what it's all about. But it goes through all the opening of the gates and the heavenly Jerusalem, you know, and the blessings and everything you're saying for the opening of the gates at the end of Shabbat, and I like that. But anyway, I'm going to say first, I'm going to put on the. Let me get here to the seat seat. To the seat seat, and. Here's my stuff. Here's my stuff. Okay. My talus and my tefillin. See, it's got my name on it. Israel Tekelet. Put that right there. That was the tefillin. And this is the talit. And it says Israel Tekelet talit. That, then they got a crown here. But that looks like a queen's crown, not a king's crown. I'm not the king, but I mean, that looks like the queen's crown, wouldn't you say? I don't know why. I always wondered about that. It looks like a queen's crown. Anyway. Let me get, uh, let me get, and I'm not gay, so I'd rather have a, if it's a queen's crown, I'd rather have one with a man's crown. I like women. I think I'm male and I like women. Women that are born naturally with all the female organs, not somebody that's had them transplanted over. I like the real woman. Real women are a pleasure in life. And they're a blessing if you can find one that loves you. I've had a couple, but... Things have changed. Okay, so you get up like this. You say Barukata Hashem Elokhaylam Asher Kitishano Bimetzutvano Ahitat Pesitzit, and then you pull it like this. And you say Barukata Hashem Elokhaylam Asher Kitishano Bimetzutvano Hametzutzit. And you keep it wrapped around you. I have to sit down for a minute here because I got to use the book. It's at this point when it's wrapped around, and you'll be standing up. You probably will be sitting down when you say it. You say, "Ma'ya kahasadik Elohim, u beni adam itself kanafeti aserun, yarvim adeshin beit kaven hal adenekatas kem ki imka, u parhaim berakin rei or meshos bekaru hideka sitkas shaylev, and." Then you're ready to put on the tefillin. Turn the page here. Put this stuff here. Now, I'll stand up here. Those are prayer shawl clips. Put this down like this. Get this, get this like here so it's okay. Now let's see here. Those are about even. And then you whip this around like this. And you whip this around like this. Okay. And then you get the tefillin. Here's the tefillin. Now, I've had people tell me, you don't need to take your watch off when you put on tefillin. I take my watch off. I may not need to, but I take it off. Okay. And then 
And you can always put it in your pocket if you want to lose it. Okay, so let's put on the hand to fill in first. Put this up here like this. Okay. Yeah, I hope this all comes out okay. And then wrap it like that. Close this. I think this is the, let's see, one. This is either the third or fourth set of the fiddle I've had in my life. And I got all the old sets. It's amazing how they changed. Okay. Now let's go here like this. And you go, Barukata Hashem, Yevau Hinamura Kualam, Asher Kitishanu, Bimitsu Tabitsevanu, the Heniak to fill in. And you wrap it. See how you go there? You want to get a sheen here. Now you see there's a sheen there, the letter sheen in the Hebrew alphabet. And then I was wrapping it with seven, but I found out I can wrap it with ten with these. And the only person I've seen lately that has ten was the red picture of the Rebbe. I never really paid attention to it because they used to go to the synagogue quite a bit in Israel, but in the neighborhood I live now, there's not one close enough to walk, so I just celebrate Shabbat here at my house. But uh, the Rebbe, he wrapped this thing ten times instead of seven. And I think... I saw a picture of it. I think if if you wrap a ten, that's symbolic of the Ten Commandments or the Decalogue, the Torah. Well, it, the Torah is all five books, but I'm talking about just the Decalogue. There's Ten Commandments there, and that's symbolic of the Ten Commandments of the Decalogue. One, two, three, there's six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, and then you wrap it around and you hold on to it. Now you got that wrapped. You can put your prayer shawl back like that and pull it down and back so it fits on kind of good. And then you go to your head to fill in right here. Okay, just like this, like this, and you close that like that. And then you go like this, and you go like this. Now, I was always taught you bring it from the behind and lay it over. But I've had problems doing that, so I just do it like this. I bring it like that, put it on. These, the stafil is just a hair big for my head. I gotta, I gotta pull it, put like that. And then I'm gonna to go to the mirror here and see if it's straight. I'll be right back. Let's see here. Well, I guess that's about as straight as it's gonna get. Keep it like that. And now I have that like that. And I saw, in the synagogues I've noticed it, some people tuck these in, some don't. I tuck it in like that. These are my pajamas I'm wearing because they're comfortable. I wear them around the house. And if I go out, I might put on different clothing, but I, I don't go out in pajamas usually. Oops, my purse. It's all fell. Okay. Now, if my tefillin and my prayer shawl are in sync, what I do is I put these, these clips on here. These are Star David clips if you can make them David. And they go like that and like that. And what you might want to do is go to your tailor and have her, mine's a her, have a reinforce this right here. I had to reinforce the whole thing. This is a new one I bought. I've got all kinds of them, calluses, teletine. And you might have a re reinforce it right here because eventually these clips will cause problems with the thread there unless you have it reinforced. Okay, now you say this blessing. Barukata Yahweh, or I'm home so I can say the name. The reason we don't say the name in public like around in there is to keep people from fighting because some people have a different name they say and some people don't, but I always say the name I just repeated, which is Hashem's name, Hashem. So it's Barukata Hashem, Eloheinu Melech Elam, Asher Kitishanu, Bimitzotav Tzivanu, 
all mitzvah tefillin. And then you sit down here like this and you take your prayer book right here. I sh you should have this memorized. I said it so many times, but you say, um, Baruch Shem Kavod, Malchut Olam Be'ed, Umi Chakmateka, Al Elyon, Tatzalalai, Ubena Teka Fineni, Ovi Hazdeka Tegalai, Ovi Goroteka Tesmei Ovei, Vekami, Veshem and Hato to recall Shiba Kane Hamanora, Ahashpi to Veka, Lebroteka, Poteka Chedeka, and then you say that this is also the the, the blessing for the uh, uh, betrothal blessing, and it's a bearestik lil elam bearestik li besedik uvi hesed rakamim bearestik li bemunav yadad et Hashem, and you see it's wrapped three there, and then you come like this round tight and it works perfect it works just perfect so you have the dalit there you have the sheen here and you have the yud here and the name of shaddai starts with the sheen sheen dalit yud uh, on on the safari to fill in like mine the, the safari fill in it's a da it's a yud back there on the ashkenaz tefillin it's a box just a square box i have both my dad tied there was a kid over here one day from israel staying with us and i asked him if he could adjust this was the, my first set of tefillin i ever had i said could you adjust this tefillin you know so he said yeah i can do it i can tell retie it it was tied in a sephardic knot and he untied it and he couldn't get it tied back together again so I got the directions off the internet and I showed my dad when he, he just passed away last December, or last January, I mean, January 23rd. And I showed him and he tied a perfect Ashkenazi knot because he's Ashkenazi. But my mom is Sephardic, or was anyway. Now, my mom passed away too. So that's about it. I hope this, vi this uh, video helped you. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's getting ready for Shabbat, so. Here in Colorado, in Lakewood, Colorado, United States of America, Eretz Um I say to you, Shabbat Shalom, and hopefully, um, Tik Fatov, good hope, will have a pleasant Shabbat and a pleasant week to follow. Amen.